Good day class, I'm Ms. Charlina Coronel and today we will be discussing about quadratic equations. So what is a quadratic equation? A quadratic equation in one variable is a mathematical sentence of degree 2 which can be written this way. ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0 where a, b, and c are real numbers and a is not equal to 0. So this term, ax squared, could be named as the quadratic term. While this term, with x as a variable and 1 as the exponent of the variable, can be called as the linear term. While this one, which is the constant term will always have a value of a constant. And take note, since we are talking about quadratic equations, we must always have equal sign at the symbol. So suppose you were given 8x squared plus 10x plus 3 equals 0. So this is an example of a quadratic equation. And we can say that 8x squared is a quadratic term since its variable is in degree 2. And this term 10x or positive 10x is the linear term. And 3 here is our constant term. We may also say since the, the quadratic equation in standard form is ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0, we can say that the value of a would be 8, the value of b is 10, and the value of c is 3. So let us proceed to the second example. Suppose you are given 5x times quantity x minus 3 equals 12. At first, we might think that this is not a quadratic equation since we cannot see the exponent 2. But applying the distributive property of multiplication over subtraction, we are going to get a quadratic equation. Let's try it. So 5x times x would give us 5x squared. And 5x times negative 3 would be negative 15x equals 12. And since we are after, after a quadratic equation which, which has 0 on the right side, we may just subtract both sides from 12 so that we could eliminate this and the new quadratic equation now is 5x squared minus 15x minus 12 equals 0. So this is now a quadratic equation written in standard form. Let us have the last example. Suppose you are given quantity a plus 3, quantity a minus 2 equals 24. Let us try to change this into a quadratic equation written in standard form. So if you could still recall the FOIL method, we are going to multiply the first terms first. So that would be a times a. So that's a squared. Then the outer terms a times negative 2 would be negative 2a. And the inner terms would be 3 times a. And that would give us positive 3a. And the last terms 3 times negative 2 would give us negative 6 that equals 24. Simplifying this expression, it would give us a squared negative 2a plus 3a is positive 8 minus 6 equals 24. Again, the standard form of quadratic equation is a squared plus bx plus c equals 0. That's why we have to 
combine this, the two constant terms. We, can, we may just transpose 24 to the left side or we may just subtract 24 from, from both sides of the equation. So that's a squared plus a minus 6 minus 24 equals 24 minus 24. It would be equal to 0. So we have a squared plus a and negative 6 minus 24 would give us negative 3 equals 0. This is now a quadratic equation written in standard form.